new moon, the first phase. The moon revolves around Earth at an orbit distance of 384,400 kilometers. The moon begins its cycle when it is positioned between the sun and Earth. The visible illuminated side of the moon begins to increase over time. This is called waxing. It takes the moon 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes and 1.6 seconds to orbit Earth. This period is also known as the orbit period or sidereal period. The movement of a new moon to a waxing crescent occurs like this. Waxing crescent, the second phase. This is how a waxing crescent appears when viewed from Earth. The moon begins its orbit period, moving out of line with the sun and Earth. A waxing crescent can appear between the first and seventh day of an orbit period. During the year, the position of a crescent moon will change. This is due to the moon's orbit around Earth and the Earth's orbit around the sun. The movement of a new moon to the first quarter occurs as demonstrated. First quarter, the third phase. This is how a first quarter moon appears when viewed from Earth. This happens when the moon is at a 90 degree angle with respect to the Earth and the Sun. A first quarter moon rises in our sky around noon and will stay visible for about 12 hours. One half of the moon's surface is always illuminated, we just may not see it from Earth. During a first quarter moon, half of the moon's illuminated side faces Earth. The movement from a new moon to a waxing gibbous looks like this. Waxing gibbous, the fourth phase. This is how a waxing gibbous moon appears when viewed from Earth. This phase is the final waxing phase. A waxing gibbous moon has a visible surface of between 51 and 99%. On completion of this phase, the moon will reach the furthest point it travels from the sun. When this phase completes, the moon will be a full moon and halfway through its cycle. The movement from a new moon to a full moon is demonstrated below. Full moon, the fifth phase. This is how a full moon appears when viewed from Earth. A full moon occurs when the Sun, Earth and Moon line up in this order. The Earth does not cast a shadow on the Moon during a full moon. 
This is because there is a 5 degree difference in the Earth's Sun orbit and the Moon Earth orbit. After a full moon, the amount of light we see on the moon decreases over time. This is called waning. Waning occurs when the moon is in the second half of its orbit period. The orbit period completes after the moon has passed through the following phases. Waning gibbous. A waning gibbous occurs when the moon completes over half its orbit of Earth. Third quarter. The third quarter occurs when the moon is at a 90 degree angle with respect to the sun and the earth. Waning crescent. A waning crescent is the final phase of a moon during its orbit period 